Hello everybody and welcome back to Prophets Gaming and more! Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues, playing as the Crimson Acolytes, formerly the Bone Dancers. We are led by the odious king who we worship as a god. Uh, we decided to attack the Timberline and they had no troops, then all of a sudden they did have troops. And I'm not too sure how that happened or how I feel about that. Um, we need to kill all of them, obviously, as quick as we can. Uh, because I suddenly feel far less confident about our abilities here. If we can please push through this and just get these guys freed up so that they don't die, that'd be awesome. No, 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 no. You need to help. Don't, don't, don't stop. Don't run out of organization on me. You help here as well. Come on, we should be able to win this, right? These guys are all in reserves. All right, trick. Hold, hold. All of you attack at the same time while it's paused. And now there are no reserves, and they're all right here, which means 80 combat width is now contributing, which means we should win this. Please don't let him die! Oh, we barely got through. I didn't even mean to with this guy. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho ho! We saved him! Let's go. Okay. Um, if we can pin... So we're not gonna get the encirclements over here, but at least this guy's not gonna die. Um, can we help over here and prevent these guys from pushing into Greenhorn? Because I want to make sure that I own that still. Uh, we are trapped here now. Which is awkward. Um, I have no good way of defending here, so we're just gonna die, basically. Why did it? What? How did this turn into an actual fight? How did this actually turn into a fight? All right. Well, we're gonna lose some troops, um, almost certainly, and that is highly unfortunate. Unless they can sit tight long enough, but I, I really, really doubt it. This is gonna cost me very valuable manpower, and that's something I really cannot afford to be losing. Okay. Well, I want you to stop attacking here. I mean, is there any way in heck I can get up here? They have no organization regeneration, so like, surely no. Oh yeah, that means more for me. Of course, they're preventing me from actually encircling anybody, which I'm finding irritating. There's a Shoshone legacy. Let's continue getting some cores. You like that? No, there's just no way. They're they're very dead. All right, there they go. <sighs> right. Okay. Um. Let's try pushing these guys back. Make sure we get these victory points back again. Um, we are in a position where. Our line is going to be spread a little on the thin side, um, but as we encircle and kill his troops, uh, we'll eventually get the advantage again, so it's only a matter of time. It's just very irritating. Increased reinforce rate seems nice. Um, I would love to encircle these guys as well, but he's not making that easy. In fact, he's going to stop me from doing that. He's, he's encircling me too. I shouldn't be as aggressive as I am here. Okay, so we're already running in there. Um, you are going to run up this way. These guys should not be in any danger already. Let's just stop here for a second. Okay. We need to build up our, uh, our lines for a more conventional fight again. <sighs> Alright. Let's train up one replacement for what we lost. Modify government, uh, going to a... Two-year uh, conscription? Yes. Let's keep those recruitable population factors going up. Okay, he's being attacked, but he should be fine. I think we're okay here as well. We should be pushing fairly well and aggressively. Sure. One of you get up over here. Start kind of hooking around and see if he can find a vulnerable point. <sighs> we have the superior units and we're going to win. This is just the second fight where I'm like, I'm playing stupidly and people are going to make fun of me on the internet. Because you all will, and I know it. Don't lie. Don't, don't try to spare my feelings. There's another little encirclement. Okay, so that's going to work out nicely. I'm just going to have all of you attack at once so that we have everyone here attacking at the same time. And never mind, we got caught off again. Okay, 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 okay. 
I, I don't I don't appreciate this. All of you, hold attack. You, keep him pinned. And he was able to get away. All right, fine. Go in there. Just make sure we don't get encircled now. Gosh, I'm so sick of having bad lines. Uh, what do we want over here? Light machine guns or heavy rapid capacitor weapons? Six defense, eight attack, eight heart attack, eight piercing. This is just better soft attack. And honestly, is worth it. Oh, I spent experience, didn't I? I didn't mean to. All right, replace the dynamite with flamethrowers. Uh, the great artillery gets me a couple more cores. Immobilization speed's not looking particularly good. So I don't think we're going to get a lot of advantage of this quite yet. Now. I'm going to try to hook around here and surround this city. My organization's yeah. sort of fallen apart in a lot of ways. All of you should be able to attack here simultaneously and win. Push him back. Except for you, you sit tight and defend. Get entrenched. Let's try to push up toward the victory points if we can. Alright, I want you to get up here and attack. I want all of you to attack as well. He's got a town supplying him a little bit. But with three units attacking at once, 214 defense is a little bit for me to overcome, to be honest. Like I give a fuck. Okay, well, hmm. I don't know. This may be uh, a little harder to get than I thought. We can eventually, definitely, but to start with, it's going to be a pain. Else? You get up here and see if you can get to the capital, because it looks like he's left that exposed. I'm about to push him off of these victory points as well, which means we're close to being able to beat him. I'll go ahead and research the defense. The defense is certainly always good. If we go here, we technically get a surround on him, and I can use this one guy to pin him down and keep him out of here. I definitely need to take these victory points. Okay, so you have a clear path to get to the capital, which you can do now. And is that going to be enough to capitulate you? No, you are 97% of the way towards capitulation. Let's All right, pin you down, kill him, he's dead. You get over here and assist. Um, with four units attacking all at once, we can definitely take this. Hold, attack at once. And now we have enough soft attack. We don't have enough breakthrough, but enough soft attack just to cause casualties and take him down the rest of the way. So as long as we can hold this and we should be able to, we're fine. I say that, and then what happens? My guys walk off the front line. Where are you? Where are you all going? Where are you all going? For real, though. Okay, we barely got it in time. That was so unnecessarily close. And we take the Timberlines territory. Thank you. Okay. Man, I need more troops. What do we want next? So we have all of our cores done there. Gecko support would be fun. Don't care about oligarchy. We could go for military factories with arms workshops. I don't see anything that gets me another research slot, by the way. Anything that would get me more manpower would be tempting. I didn't see any options there. So, schools of higher thought. Special forces equipment get a lot of research ahead of time bonuses. Okay. Ancient traditions is a new technology. What is that? And then psionic weapons for more, basically just more spec forces, and that's about it. This would cost me a lot of my stability. So, hang on. What is this, um, what's this ancient technology? That looks like a reward technology to me. I do not know. Ancient traditions. There it is. Special forces, platoon, defense, soft attack, and hard attack. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty darn good. <laughs> Just makes spec forces that much better across the board. Okay. Well, I like that. Uh, do we want that now? Would I rather go down this route and replace widespread cannibalism with ritualized cannibalism? Yes, because that changes up my recruitable population factor a little bit, which hopefully means I'll have a little bit more to work with in the future. 
So far, we haven't really had a trade with anybody, by the way, which I find funny. Um, okay, so Spec Ops gear are up to 600. I still need more of this. We've got plenty of infantry equipment. That's fine. Um, so I think I continue with this a little bit more. Then we probably want upgraded flamethrowers, some more support equipment, and some more guns. And then, um... More equipment there. Let's go ahead and focus a bit more on upgrading our flamethrowers. Let's start getting some actual benefits. Serious benefits. So can I buy some slaves? Answer is yes. 150 caps this time. Or was that last time? Whatever. It gets me a few more slaves, which I like. As long as we keep making caps, I can keep buying them. And weren't we supposed to get some sort of a benefit every 200 slaves? So, I mean, I want it. What was his name, by the way? Was that Chiquita? Chiquita's Slave Market. Hooray! The biggest and the strongest is the current inventory. Oh, yeah. All right. So who do I kill next? Um, we did start fabricating on somebody, didn't we? Apparently not. I thought that I said to do this. Just gotta find me some sweet jet. Do I think that these guys are gonna win? The Cyclops Tribe versus Eastport. Eastport, who, by the way, is fairly split at the moment. Three and five days is a long time. Still, I can try to hit Mountain City. It's going to take me a while, but if they keep this war going for a while, and I hope that they do, whoever wins, I'll be able to pick them, all, uh, pick them out off. There we go. Or whoever loses, if they're in a bad spot, I'll be able to take advantage of them and kill them. So I'll work on those claims. We'll see how much they actually are able to get from me. The Antelope Tribe would also be a pretty easy target with a few more workshops. Let us start producing a little bit more of the makeshift squad automatic weapons which will trade out for light machine guns in the future. The Mojave Raiders have been annexed by the new California Republic. No surprises there. We are up to 15 civilian factories, so we have maximum building speed on at least something. It's good. It's a slight improvement. I can turn this off for a second. Still don't know who the gunrunners are, right? No, we do not have... It doesn't really say why we can't do this, but we definitely cannot do it. Which is too bad. But I don't need the basic equipment anyway, so that's probably okay. Um, This would get me additional civilians uh, workshops if we do that. NCR Rangers joins the NCR. Yeah, well, that they did change their name, so that would be why. Okay, New Reno has joined the NCR. That's a little bit more uh, concerning. Who's leading them right now? Mr. Bishop? The bishops are in charge. Mm, okay. Not sure how I feel about that, if I'm honest. Take me down to the Paradise Valley. Not city, actually. I thought that was city. Ah, oh, man. Almost got a Guns N' Roses reference in there somewhere. But we didn't We didn't manage to pull it off. Um, so, let's see. I could get another trait with you. I mean, I really want to get this. This feels like I, I'm going to get it now. Just, yeah, because I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to get another trait slot. But let's just get it so I don't forget about it. Anything else I can do for you? I don't know. Is there anything else you can do for me? You tell me. Um, entrenchment doesn't seem important. Power armor, no. Division attrition's pretty good. Let's do it. Um, less attrition means less equipment lost and stuff. We've got some pretty good units here. Guerra's Conviction. I implore you, people of the Republic, to welcome the formation of the government representing the resolve of the downtrodden, the oppressed, and the enslaved. This is for Mexico. Okay. I don't think this has to do with me. This is something that's happening down over here, probably in the Republic of the Rio Grande. Yes, Dante Guerra. There it is. All right. Good luck with that, Presidente. We don't care about the Kaiser. Blood Cult. Recruitable population factor improves by 10%, and we have division recovery rate go up. Seems okay to me. I don't know. I want to go down so many different paths. We got so many options here. So many cool options. Um... What are my cores looking like? Can we see that? Is there a way to see what is cored and what isn't? There probably is, and I don't remember. I thought it was states, but it's not.
Well, what we can do probably is check here. Okay, so this does actually tell us where we can get some more cores. Um, Walorara. Wallowa, sorry. Up over here? This is awkward because I still can't really see the population. Okay, so what up here had good pops? Looks like these guys. So Wallowa, which is a irradiated plains it looks like. But we can do that and turn them into a core and it costs me political power. And the cost is derived from the population. So I can actually use this. The more expensive it is, probably the better for me. But do I want to spend my very valuable political power on this right now? Or would I rather start working on getting a better army? Let's start working toward getting a better army. We need to go up that route eventually, right? Probably. Can we train a couple of psychers? We can train one. I guess that is the downside of making these uh, 20 combat width. You can't field a lot of them right now. Still, I'll go ahead and build what I can. Light machine guns are done. Let's go ahead and get these upgraded. Okay, so with that all done, we can go uh, further down this route. We are ahead of time. Fire teams get extra soft attack, hard attack, and piercing. Or just lots of soft attack. I think we go for lots of soft attack. How are we doing on those guns? 373 is not a lot. That said, I can toss you on, and that's still enough. Cost me some manpower, but that's fine. Let's do it. I'm going to do the same with the Psykers. That'll cost me a little bit, but I have enough equipment for both. And let's just make them better. Look, I can only field so many Psykers at the same time anyway. We might as well give them as many stats as possible. So they have 81 soft attack and 64 breakthrough compared to 77 and 38. So these would make for some pretty decent offensive divisions. Hey, cool. You got an encirclement. Well done. I want them to kill each other. I want them to inflict as many casualties here as possible. Very much in my favor for that to happen. Let's add on one more of these guys here. Uh, logistically, we probably want... There's not a lot of point in getting more Pioneer kits right now, simply because we can't actually field any more than this. Uh, let's start producing some gliders. Just a few little planes to give me technical air superiority. Is it gonna do much? No. No, not at all. But that's fine. Right, we got a ways to wait, unfortunately, for these Cyclops tribe. I really hope that they live long enough that I can just backdoor them and crush them, but... We'll see. Primitive radio is done. Military factory construction speed plus 5% seems okay. Let's just go ahead and do that and build things faster since we're trying to build a lot of those right now. Um, specialized warfare seems really important. This allows for the special forces platoon, which we already have, so I'm not sure how this works. But eventually we can work toward things like this. Which, now that I think about it, what good does that do me? Power armor and nightkin? We don't have either of those. Even so, let's start researching some of it. Because I think it's going to end up being important eventually. This is just slow at the moment. Okay, the blood cult is done. Excellent. So that should result in a little bit of extra manpower coming in from me. Then we have Corpsey Culinary, giving me army experience, which can lead to... Oh, gosh, this is just so gross. Finger Filet. Factory output goes up. We have less recruitable population. Or Boot Biting, which gives mobilization speed, but again, costs me manpower. Mind Munchies. Political power gain. Rivers of Blood. Man, this costs a lot. Basically, we sack a lot of recruitable population to get super good benefits. And a lot of them. 200 caps doesn't do me a lot of good. However, however, this is a way of getting a little bit of extra manpower in exchange for some money. So just slaves. Lots of slaves. Yeah, if we go down this route, we get another generation of uh, population. Which seems okay. Doesn't seem like a very drastic amount, but it seems okay.
Um, we do eventually need to do this. I'm going to go ahead and learn about the Gecko support, because I'd like to research that soon. This is the problem that I have when I'm playing nations that are in mods, right? So I don't really know... Why do you have this gun here? What is this? Weird. Um, I don't really know like the best strategies as far as... Okay, so for example, right? When I was playing as Byzantium, or Greece, I guess, going for the Byzantine achievement, um, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I had a very specific path for my national focuses, very specific path for my research, etc., etc., right? But in something like this, there's so much going on, I find myself bouncing around between things a lot. You know, I don't know. Just, I feel like I'm disorganized, because I am, but is that a bad thing? Maybe. Uh, please don't take Paradise Valley. They're so close. Don't, don't, don't get in there. Don't get in there. I want to do this. I... Okay, there it is. Crimson Acolytes is justified. I thought I would see a little thing down here. Isn't there usually something there? It's acting as if they're already dead. Are they dead? I think it stopped doing the goal. I think that they're only working on eSport now. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Is it because they don't own their full state now? That actually might be the case. Oh, we get Gecko support technology for free. Oh, I don't even have to research it. That's even better. Okay. Um, well. Let's go ahead and learn about the ancient traditions, since apparently it gives you the tech for free. That seems pretty good. And then let's um, start producing some motorcycles so that I will have motorized for medical stuff later if I want it. I can purchase some more slaves. Let's do that so we can get up to 200. I want to find out what the benefit is. And I would like to request from you another civilian workshop. I think that's well worth it. 6% extra defense for me. Okay, so we're on time with all of this. We're doing okay on support companies. Probably can go ahead and learn about the healing powder and the recon. Let's start building out some more support companies and try to get a little bit better. Low caliber ammunition means that our fire teams are going to have that extra soft attack, which is nice. We need to continue down our doctrine. I'm going to go for trooper warfare for the extra defense and entrenchment speed, I guess. Unless I think I'm really going to focus on some motorized. I mean... All infantry get organization. The entire army gets soft attack. All infantry and motorized get speed. Tanks, though. Army. Army. I mean, this is useless, but everything else here is pretty good for offense. This is good for defense with leg infantry. Hard attack. Militia, I don't care about. Recovery rate. Organization, recruitment population is pretty good. And then soft attack and hard attack. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking this is better. Yeah, I think this is better. So we're going to continue down this route. I'm not going to spend my army experience right now. But let's keep getting those doctrines up and running. I'm very peeved. It actually did stop my war goal. Which I guess doesn't really matter in the sense that the Cyclops tribe is probably about to die anyway. But it does pose the problem where it's going to be a long time before I can kill Eastport. And they are getting fairly strong. What's up? I need to make sure we keep training more troops. You can see our uh, cost of manpower going up. Caps and everything else. That is a thing. Mmm. I wanted to kill these guys. Come on, take your state back and tell me that it didn't, that it didn't actually cancel. Tell me it's resuming. Please, I really want to know. Take Elko back and prove to me that I still have a war goal. It's not going to happen. I know it's not going to happen. But I would like to think that it would. Uh, let's continue producing a few more guns for some upgrades. Um, all in all, we're looking okay. Ancient Traditions is done. We get that tech for free. Sweet. Division Infinite. 
So owning all of their core lands, army experience goes up. Every unit leader, every single one gets increased planning skill. And then we get a bunch of different... This is pretty good. What about Reality's Infinite? This adds logistics, or instead of planning, gives 1,000 manpower. 1,000 manpower, though. <sighs> Division or Reality's Infinite? Would I prefer the manpower or and logistics, or would I prefer the planning and the factories? Honestly, at this point, it's the manpower. So I'm going to start working on schools of higher thought and see what we can pull off there. Oh, they did get Elko. But no, they're not going to give it back to me, are they? What a waste. Right. Well, that's going to be the way it's going to be. All right, then let's pull off let's of here. See. And let's see if we can snag Mountain City. While they are distracted fighting the Cyclops. How's that sound? We'll go for the bigger target. Since this is the only one that I'm pretty confident is not about to lose all of its stuff. You've actually got a lot of factories here. Um, quite a few troops as well. But if half of them are distracted fighting the Cyclops, then that's fine with me. Uh, we do not... What happened here? Wait. Is this... Yeah, there we go. I don't know why I created another front line there. It got confusing. Okay. Um, we are going to have all of you guys being assigned over here to this army once you are done. Automatically deploy. We'll have our first round of spec forces, and we did get that tech for free. Which did what again? It increased, uh... Yes, increased the defense, soft attack, and hard attack of all special force platoons by 8% each. So they're looking pretty good all of a sudden. So let's see, we're up to 82 soft attack on these guys here and 40 breakthrough. You guys are up to 87 and 64. So actually pretty comparable in soft attack now. It's just one's much better at breaking through than the other. That's about it, though. And it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too great, but it's not too bad. We'll take it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just request another free research bonus. Followers demand demilitarization. What? One of the following must be true. Effects if not selected. By resisting their demands, the followers will stop asking for this specific reduction. Base war support goes down. Remove two war... Oh, wow. So we're going to lose a bunch of factories in 60 days. So, if I... Can I cancel this? No. I did not know that if we keep asking them for favors, they're going to do this. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop asking them for things because um, I'm going to lose far more than they have gained me up to this point. Like, legitimately. I'm going to lose more than they've gained. I, I, they're going to take away the two factories they built and two military factories along with them. Not thrilled. There go the schools of higher thought. Let's go for Realities Infinite and get another thousand manpower that I will be able to field. Eventually. That's about all that I can afford apparently at the moment. That's the most I'm allowed to train at a time. That's fine though. They'll get manpower soon enough. Factories. Uh, let's just keep making better upgraded guns. We're going to need all of those. We have some gliders set up, which is fun. Modify government. Um, do you want to go for aircraft? I mean, it's not going to do me a lot of good. Nah, that, doesn't, that doesn't really do me any good at all. Uh, Chief of Army. I feel like this is too little too late, but let's go for the Bringer of Civilization. I don't think it changes a uh, war goal that's already in progress. So there's that. Tato Farmers. Hello. Okay, well, this is still slow. Um, way slower than I would have liked as far as our uh, build up here. Kind of thought we'd be a lot stronger by now. You know, Crimson Acolytes and all that. Murderous, bloodsuckers, cannibals and all that. But no, no, we're not We're not actually researching anything quickly. Uh, Special Forces Capacity Multiplier. That sounds pretty helpful. So I'll use my 30% research bonus that we got from our tech to get that a little faster. So we can train up more of our Strikers. Psytrikers. Whatever they're called. I don't even know at this point. You have very little defending you over here, Eastport. If I can kill you, I'm going to be a happy camper. 
I'm just saying. How are the trolls doing? The trolls are killing Klamath. There's a little bit of extra stuff going for him, but not too much. There's the reconnaissance companies done. Let's go for the medicine. We'll just learn how to do all of that now while we can. Uh, if I wanted to add in those divisions, what would that cost me? Recon would cost support equipment, which I have enough of at the moment. So let's go ahead and do that. And the psychers, let's do the same thing because recon is good. So you can actually find out what people are doing and blow them up more effectively. Here comes the quarterly income. That's nice. There's the realities infinite for the extra manpower. And then union through song cores all core owned states by the timber line, which is just more manpower for me. And I don't have to spend all the political power building up these cores. So that works as well. Okay. We're going to end this video here. Uh, again, not spreading as fast as I wanted. Was hoping for a lot more free claims. It's just not happening. Um, still, I'm hoping that we're going to have a lot of fun with these psychers when the time comes. It's just taking me a while, but we'll see what happens. I'm very concerned that when the Washington Brotherhood and the Troll Warren turn their eyes on me, I am going to die. But it'll be fun. Remember, this is Iron Man. If it screw up, then I just lose. So no pressure. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and do it.